Good morning and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well, today I have for you your August Jackhammer Challenge. This workout is so much fun. It is animal themed. It is very functional. There are a lot of dynamic mobility moves. There are a lot of really fun burpee variations. It is just 100% fun. So I hope you'll love it as much as I loved doing it and creating it for you. Um, all you'll need for this workout is some water, a towel, and your exercise mat. But if you would like to make it more difficult, you could add weights to some of the squatting moves, really whatever you want to do there. Um, you could add your weighted vest, whatever it takes to really toast all of your muscles. So grab all your equipment and I'll see you back here for your August Jackhammer Challenge. All right, guys, let's get your August Jackhammer Challenge started with a good warm up. We're gonna just do some torso twist butt kickers to start out. So what that means is you're taking your torso one way and your leg the other. Twisting to meet that opposite foot. Waking up that back, waking up those hamstrings. Two more. Awesome. Shake it out. We're going to go down into a runner's lunge. So walk it down. Step the runner's lunge in place here. We're going to come up, down, twist. Up, down, twist. Up, down, twist. Up, down, twist it up. Not holding any of this. We're just moving through a good range of motion here. Awesome. Step that back leg to the front. Take the front leg to the back. Lunge it and reach. Press through that hip flexor. One more. Awesome, set that back foot forward. Shake it out a little bit. Now we're gonna do a gorilla knuckle squat. Now this will be in your workout too. So you're gonna come down, get to your knuckles, Press out on those hips, pick it back up. You can also stop and just push the hips up in the back. Really good hip opener, good move to prep for some squats. You can also just take this into a nice wide squat. You can press out on the knees to get a good hip opener. If you don't like the whole knuckle business here, squeeze at the top. Awesome. Shake that out because it burns already. Now we're going to walk down and do some push-ups. You can start out doing Two regular push-ups, then taking the knees down, if that's good, popping it back up for two, back down for two, do two more each way, and down. Awesome. Turn over for some sit-ups. Let's get those abs ready. Just for a few seconds. Let's 
do two more. Awesome job, guys. Your warm-up is finished. I took a little extra time to do a few more sit-ups. Hope you don't mind. And we are ready to tackle this animal-themed workout. All right, guys, it's workout time. We are starting off with a bear crawl that you can either do in place or all the way up and down your mat. Then we're gonna do some road runner burpees, which are gonna be really fun. Then we're gonna do a crab complex and some monkey jumps. We're going through this circuit two times. So, let's get started. Grab a quick drink if you need to. These are 45, 15 intervals. You're gonna have 15 seconds before each one. So, now we're gonna bear crawl. So, you can bear crawl this way and move back and forth, or you can just bear crawl up and back. rhythm was a little off there. <laughs> I thought, why is it harder to balance on that other leg? It's because I wasn't doing opposite legs. Five seconds. Awesome. You have 15 seconds before we do some roadrunner burpees. So you can either do them this way times four, or you can road run that way with just fast feet laterally. Then you go down for your burpee. So you can either one, two, three, four, back down for the burpee, or you can fast feet for a four count, then burpee. You can leave the jump out. We'll just start with those fast feet again. Almost there. Four seconds. Whew. Calf burner. All right. Crab complex. Come down to the ground. We're going to reach across for two, up for two, toe touch for two. Really feel that twist. You can come up on your toe for those crab kicks. Also good. Whew. All right. Now we're going into some monkey jumps. So you can do these a couple different ways. If you do not want to jump, you can just squat, clap behind, squat, clap behind, okay? If you're doing the full move, you clap. Again, you can just squat it, squat it back, squat it forward, okay? Or jump and clap. This is a super difficult move, so if you have to stop and shake it out, that's fine. We're back to the beginning. Breathe it out. All right, here we go. So, opposite leg, opposite arm.
You can take it back and forth. About halfway there. Just showing you variations where you can take it all the way or stay relatively in place. Good job. Last time for that one. All right, so road runner burpees. You can do almost toe tap style or you can fast feet, which is what I did. All right, here we go. You can do in and out fast feet. If the lateral is kind of giving you fits. You can do touchdowns. Just like that. If you like that better. Almost there. Ooh. Oh, good. All right, crab complex. It's feeling so weird without my bulky microphone today. I hope you can still hear me. Push it up, reach across for two. Get that crab complex in. All movements from the crab position. Whoops, touch this test. Reach it up, drive the hips up. Very good. All right, monkey jumps. Are you guys having fun yet? Are you awake? Are you partying like an animal with this one? I know I am. So much that I've gotten off the rhythm of some of these moves. But this round, we're doing better. Nice big clap. Woo! Shake them out. 15 more seconds. This is the first workout of the week for me. Two, one. Very good. So I'm definitely feeling a little woo. All right. Next we have our Second little circuit here. It's going to be 45 15. Pardon my yawn. Y'all are going to think I never sleep. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so your first move is an under doggy dig, which just means you're going to come down here, commando crawl down, scapular push up, walk it, back up, commando crawl, back down. Scapular push up, walk up, okay? That's your first move. Then we're gonna do grasshopper burpees. So take it down. You can either tap that foot like that or take one foot under, come back up. You can also do both push ups for one rep and take both feet under. So whatever you wanna do there. And then we just have some quadruped curls, some bunny hop burpees and then quadruped curls on the other side. So you have 15 seconds. Before we get into this madness, should be fun. These are all really fun, fun moves. All right, Whew. two, one, 
walk it down into that underdoggy dig. So, crawl those arms out, scapular push up, walk them back. Okay, to about here. Walk them up. Walk them back. Feels like a good, good hamstring stretch in that pike position or that walk back. Walk it back. Anybody else hear their water <laughs> gurgling in their stomach? That's my current plight. <sighs> Always gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Two and one. Very good. Whew. All right. Ooh, let's see what's next. <sighs> Those grasshopper burpees are next. So I'll show you both modifications there. Two and one. All right. So. Down, you can touch both sides, come back up. You can come down, kick under both sides or just one for one rep. There's both again. Whatever you want to do. husband load and staying some stair treads for a project he's working on and they were not liked. Pretty tired. All right. Quadruped curls on the left. So quadruped, four feet. So you'll have your hands right under your wrist. Flex that foot. Really think about squeezing that hamstring. You could put an ankle weight on here. That would be good. I didn't want to finagle with that today. <laughs> now, an advanced modification here would be coming up on into a plank and then going from here. I hope I'm nice and level. That's what you need to be. One, good job. All right, awesome work. Your next move is gonna be that bunny hop burpee that we all love so much. I'll probably only do a burpee at this end because of my space, okay? So, nice little hops. Two, three, one, two, three. You're welcome to do another burpee at both ends of your mat. But as you can see, per usual, space is at a premium for me. And that's no big deal. You may have a smaller space than I do, but you can modify to get it done. You can make these squat walks if you have angry neighbors, okay? or sleeping babies. Very good. All right. Now we have those quadruped curls on your right. I'm so hoping this camera and microphone are gonna work better for the time being. All right, hope you can hear me. If not, we will do a voiceover. Really draw that heel in towards your glutes. Wrists under shoulders. Nice, solid plank, whether you're on your knee or not. More advanced. Really squeeze. Up on those toes if you're advanced. Hang on. Two, one. Awesome job. I can feel that everywhere. Okay. All right, guys, 15 seconds until we get into those underdoggy digs. Had a little bit of a camera malfunction there. Using my old one, so. 
kind of having to learn some of the tricks to it again. All right, here we go. Trench call it out. Scapular push up. Walk it up a bit. I'm taking about four crawls up and back. Get a good stretch with those hamstrings. Good range of motion for those shoulder push ups or scapular push ups. Our goal when we go down into those is to push them together. Awesome. All right, done with those. Now we're gonna go into those whew, grasshopper burpees. Advance, come down, kick under. You can come back up at that point. Do like that. Intermediate, you can just touch those toes. You could also add a push up and then touch both toes. cardio more, do one push up at a time, you need to work on your strength, do two, all right, quadruped curls on the left, Whew. down into a solid plank, if you're advanced, you're here, those arms are going to Start feeling it from the grasshopper burpee. Don't worry if you can't do this the whole time. You can do half like that, and you can come down on all fours and hit the other half. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe you shoot for a goal of five or 10 seconds at a time with the advanced and then 10 or 15 with the uh, regular or beginner modification of the move and you get through it that way and then you just grow with it. <sighs> Never has to be defeat. You can always find a way to tackle the, these moves. All right, now we're gonna do bunny hop burpees, which may prove to uh, show us some defeat, at least muscle fatigue. Although I say when you have a failure move, you are winning, because that means you're working hard enough to get your muscles to the point of no return. So when you fail with me, you win. Ten seconds. Legs are burning real bad there. Okay, quadruped curls, right side. Oh, are you guys having fun? I'm really having fun with this workout. I'm thinking about all the different amazing animals and how we definitely have a lot to learn from them in terms of movement. Flex that foot. Come down on the knee if you need to. Get a nice quadruped stance. And then send that heel out. Have fun with it. All right, good job. Feel them, those glutes and those hamstrings. All right, now unfortunately, we do have one more round of these exercises. I don't know what I was thinking, 
when I did that, but off we go anyway. Under doggy dig is first. So walk it down. Push up. You're digging like the doggy and coming up almost into a downward facing dog. You definitely get those getting those hips up. But you're on your forearms, so get an even better stretch because the strange body angle. Crawl it. Whew. All right. Grasshopper burpees are next because why not at this point, right? Got a lot of strength in this little body weight workout. Here we go. You can do them as quickly or as slowly as you like. Showing you both modifications. You can do whatever jump you want at the top. You can heel grab. I think a grasshopper would be good at that. Eight seconds. One second. I gave you a give me second there. <laughs> Quadruped curls, left leg. Here we go. Advance, hop it up. It's okay to have nice shaky arms and legs on this one. A core that's burning. It's all part of the plan here. It's a very core focused, upper body focused workout with some fun legs in there too. This is a boot camp workout I had planned to do this week actually and my car broke down so I thought this might be a fun one to record and it is so win-win the car's fine now you know how cars go she's a van she's a little old and a little temperamental here come the bunny hops I call her, wait for it, Big Dolores, because sometimes when she misbehaves, she reminds me of the bully from the movie Hope Floats. <laughs> and she'll just shut down, refuse to go forward on us. <laughs> this time, it was a brake caliper. So, started smoking. I had all three of the kids in the car. So I was freaking out. Got them all out and called for help. So quadruped curls for the last time here. Anytime you see smoke, even if it's only a little, get out of that car. Especially if you got your babies. All right. So. Starting off, solid plank. Doing great guys. So that is the story of why I call my car Big Dolores. Ten, eight, seven. Again, you can come down on that leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. All right, guys. Our next segment is going to be 40-10 intervals. 
are going to be really fun moves. We're starting off with some lizard burpees, which I'll show you in just a second. Then we're going to go into those gorilla knuckle squats. So if you want, go down to your knuckles, push out, and then come up like that. So it's almost like a squat hip opener deadlift number. You don't have to do that. You can always just come here, open those hips, come back up. I might do that. I like that for the glutes, okay? So, then you'll have some crouching tiger push-ups and some butterfly squats. You might want to move your mat um, for those butterfly squats. You're going to have to pivot off your heels for those. So, whew, party time. Let's go. You have 10 seconds. Lizard burpee. So, if you want to do these as I've written them, you're going to do a reptile push-up, one leg push-up, come up, clap, other side. Reptile push-up, regular push-up, up, clap. If you want to modify here, do it on your knee, clap. Up. You can also just pull that knee in. Single leg push up. You can jump in on one foot if you like that. There are so many ways to do this. All right, gorilla knuckle squats. You have a couple different options here. Okay, so you can either come down on those knuckles, push out, Straighten and come up. Just like that. Gives you a good breather. Opens up those hips. Or you can just come out, push. Really try to resist yourself as you push in and out. Keep your weight in those heels. Good times. Four. One, very good. Crouching tiger push-ups are next, because why not? Okay, so the way I like to do these is I come back, forward, up, push-up. Take it back, forward, bring those forearms down. There are a couple different ways you can do this. You can do it on your knees. Okay, so to get back. Okay, that's all good. You can just come back there from here and just do the forearm part of that without the crouching. That's also fine. Now we've got some butterfly push-ups. I'm going to move this back I think with this camera. If I'm up too far, it can't see me. You need to see what my legs are doing. So we're just pivoting off that heel, turning the toes in and out. Such a fun little workout, isn't it? We're going to do this another time. Very good. All right. Lizard burpees. Again, a couple modifications here you can use. All right. Advanced lizard push up or reptile push up. Regular push up. You could do an air lunge like a lizard. Reptile push up. Single leg push up. You can jump up. Do that jump, okay? You can also do this with just a reptile. Single leg push up. Regular jump. A 
Lots of ways to get this done. You can do it on knees. Okay? Whew. So fun. So neat. Gorilla knuckle squats. All right, so again, come down on those knuckles, push the knees out, come back up. Get a little dynamic flexibility in here. Or come down, take them up. Make sure to keep those weights in, weight in the heel. Keep your weight in the heels. Don't know what's happening here with my speech. Getting a little delirious. That's okay. Take it down. Two. Awesome. Crouching tiger push-ups. If your mat is slippery, don't hurt yourself here, okay? Put your towel down. All right, advance. Crouch it. Push up. Crouch it. Crouch it. Crouch it. If you are a beginner, keep on your toes, or I'm sorry, on your knees. Yeah, beginners, keep on your toes. And down. Take it back. And down. Very good. I have funky arms that do funky things on those uh, forearm parts, but that's all right. We're still getting it done. All right, now we're gonna butterfly squat. So pivot. Yeah, I'm doing okay on my mat, so I'll stay here to make sure you're not seeing a video of nothing. Although some days, <laughs> if I'm trying a new move, you might rather wish I was just telling you what to do and you didn't have to see it. <laughs> you can make these fast. You can put on a weighted vest here. It's a good time. Four, three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. You're finished with this set. We're gonna go into some Tabata pairs. Animal themed, of course, so wipe off. Take a break if you need to, and I'll see you right back here. All right, guys, we're getting into those Tabata pairs. We're gonna start with some crying lions. My son came up with that name, which is gonna be either a squat and two lunges. So squat, lunge, lunge, or squat jump, two lunges, okay? So that's what is happening for the first move. Your second move is going to be a downward doggy dip, which just means you're coming down here into sort of a downward doggy position. You're dipping those knees, pushing straight back up, okay? Get some glute action, some quad action there. It's a good time, all right? So you have 10 seconds. And we'll get into some crying lions. Three, two, one. So again, squat jump. Two switch lunges. Good job. All right, downward doggy dips. So many doggy moves today. The dogs are so wonderful and friendly. I think we should honor them whenever we can. All right. Take down your knees, up, 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 up. Awesome. Whew. Ready for those crying lions. There we go. You don't really realize how much those downward doggy dips get your legs until you have to come back to this move right here. Whew. 
Good times. Good times. Party time. All right. Downward doggy dunks. Down those forearms. Downward dips. Play around with your leg position here so that you can feel it. Awesome. Again, with these crying lions, you can always just make this a squat with two back lunges. No big deal. Okay? Get a good range of motion. Give it your best effort wherever you are today. Doesn't mean that you have to do it that way tomorrow, but it just means you have an option. You're going to do the best with what you have to work with today. Okay? Sometimes my todays are like, whoa. <laughs> so, as long as I show up, I give it the best I've got for that day, I feel really good about what I've done. Because we're always working with different levels of nutrition, hydration, and fatigue. So, just show up and give it your best. And that's all you can ever ask of yourself or anybody else from that, for that matter. So, I have to think about this a lot when I'm with my clients. I only train part-time so that I can stay home with my babies, but the clients that I have are very busy. So, there may be some days that they don't have the time to hydrate as well as I would like for them to. Sometimes they can't eat properly on the go, so we always are working to do the best we can for that day. Because even if you get 10 minutes in, or a whole lot of stretching, you've done something beneficial for your body. All right, awesome. You are finished with that first Savannah pair. Oh yeah. So, now we're gonna go into our second one which is gonna be a staggered burpee. So, I often think of cats with this jump, because they can just jump from anywhere, any position, and I also think of the musical cats, how they move. So, these are, these are cat-inspired staggered burpees. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go back into the burpee, come up, stagger that foot back, jump, okay? You're focusing on one leg for the power there, okay? So staggered burpees, you're gonna alternate with each jump, um, alternate feet, and then you're gonna do some gorilla squats. So I'm gonna have to move my mat back, but we're gonna pivot down, okay? And I may strap on my weighted vest for this. So for the uh, whole thing, I guess, since I don't have a microphone to finagle with. So off we go into the wild blue yonder here. 10 seconds. Stagger burpees. All right, here we go. So take it down, take it back up, stagger. Take it back in. Now, you can totally do this without the push up. You can just Stagger here, okay? Okay, almost like you're surfing a little bit. Really awkward with the vest. Sort of having some buyer's remorse here. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna gorilla squat, so pivot. Only reason I have the vest on here is to make sure I'm getting a nice, good leg burn. Mission accomplished. All right, three, two, one. All right, back to cyber burpees. Here we go. So, with the push up, stagger the leg. Very 
very good. So awkward with the vest. But oh well. So nice. I'm gonna roll up that mat. So I have some room. Ah, staying on the left for those grill squats. Our next pair will hit that other side. I'm working on cumulative burn here for you guys. Ah, good times. One. Very good. Four, three, two, one. Side of burpees. Taking one leg back. Jumping like a cat. Except if you're me and this weighted vest, you're not springy at all. Or at least you don't feel springy. Whew. Very good. Roll of squats. Six of eight here. Taking it back on the lift. <sighs> Refreshing. Refreshing the sweat. Refreshing to show up and do this no matter what level you find yourself at. Whew. All right. One more of these staggered burpees. One more of. I'm just pivoting out so I can get a good staggered jump. I wish you all could hear the sweetest birds are chirping outside the window. Very good. Last one of those. Last girl squat on this side. Oh, dying here, people. Dying, but in the very best way. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, we're all dying to our doubts and our fears. We're appreciating our body and what it can do today. And then looking forward to what it can do tomorrow. Okay, that was your last one there. Awesome. High fives. We have one more to bottom pair before we whew, call it quits on to bottom pairs for today. We have down doggy push ups. We can do these a couple of ways. And then we have gorilla squats on the right. So whew, I'll show you in the 10 seconds how that's going to go. And off we go. So, pike position here, down doggy position. We're going to push up from here. You can also take one leg up, push up from there, okay? Since I have my weighted vest on, I'm going to just do the best I can. It's coming up by my ears. <laughs> so, down dog position, push right into those shoulders, okay? All right. So much awkward there, it's hard to even describe. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna gorilla squat on the right, okay? Keep it down low. You can get really low if you want to. Touch the ground. You can either make these fast or super low. I do encourage you to kind of drive those knees out. When you go down there, you feel it more in your glutes. Down doggy push-ups. Do the best you can with this whole lot of awkward move if you're wearing your vest. Or always take it off. I don't know what to do about that. All right. One, here we go. Gorilla squats. Same leg. Oh yeah. Really push. Nice and low. Try to keep your chest up. 
with that vest on. It's going to be a nice challenge. Two, one. Very good. Is that five or six of eight? Five of eight. So push it up again. All right, here we go. Down dog position. Almost there. Very good. Good times. Get up as slow as you need. Here we go. Taking it down. Six of eight here. So we have one more push up. One more gorilla squat. So make it low. Or make it fast. Very good. All right, push it up again. So, so fun and awkward. Like any good conversation. Fun and awkward. So here we go. Push. Ugh. Three, two, one. Awesome. You have crushed all of these animal themed Tabata pairs. I'll see you back for a special ending bonus. All right guys, last set. This is gonna be a little bit of a burnout, uh, if you will. It is going to be called crawl before you walk. Every move is based on some sort of a crawl, whether it be a bear crawl or a gorilla or monkey walk, um, some kind of a arm focused, mobility focused movement. So you're gonna have 20 10 intervals here, five different moves. I'm gonna do them twice. If you wanna go further, dig deeper and do more rounds, you have my blessing within reason as long as you're feeling good. All right, so we are gonna get started in 10 seconds with a wounded bear crawl on the left. So what that means is you're going to walk like this, okay? On one leg, forward and backwards, okay? You'll be real glad it's only 20 seconds. Reverse it. Feels weird, but it's good. All right, now you guys have a bear crawl to a donkey kick. Had a run in with my window. <laughs> so, opposite hand, opposite foot. Crawl it up. Kick. Then, take it back. I don't know if I'll be able to kick back here. Maybe a small one. Very good. All right. Whew. Now we're going into a lateral bear crawl. So you're just moving laterally. I'm just going the length of my entire space. So one of the few times I have enough space to do the move in its entirety, so I'm gonna take it. All right, now, we've got that wounded bear crawl on the right. So, we're on that right foot only. Very good. Sometimes it's confusing with your hands since you're only using one leg. Now, we're doing either a 
lateral monkey walk here or gorilla where you're just on those knuckles your torso straight forward so it really just depends on what you like the best there all right we're ready for your second round of that you have 10 seconds we're gonna wound that bear again my bear is already really wounded here two one all right not for me so don't even worry about it. Bear crawl through the donkey kick, wipe off your surface. I have to move my mat up a little bit. Hope you can still see. So take it down. There goes the window again. Just doing a baby one in the back. Very good. All right, guys, lateral bear crawl is next. Three, two, and one. Crawl it over, hover those knees. This is so good, not only for core strength, but coordination. All these crawls. Ooh, found a mat treasure, wondering. Which kid left that there? Or if it fell off of me, it could be breakfast. All right, so now we're going to do that wounded bear crawl on the right. Don't worry if you don't get this coordinated the first time. It's really weird to be operating without a leg as you're trying to crawl. Maybe you just do a plank, knee tuck, instead if it's really uncomfortable on your joints. I'm with you. All right, so either that monkey walk or a lateral gorilla walk. So if you're doing the monkey, you just come in here, okay? Kind of leaving one foot out if you can, okay? If you're doing the gorilla, you're just hopping on two feet using your knuckles. Awesome, you're all done. You have crushed this workout, guys. Towel off and let's get into your cool down. All right, guys, I hope you're ready for your cool down. I know I am. We're gonna start with just a nice little mobility sequence. We're gonna walk down into plank, take that leg up into a nice wide runner's lunge and reach. You can even take that palm or the elbow and get a little more space in that hip. And put both hands to one side. You can even come down to your forearms to get a little more space there. All right, back to plank. Do a nice little glute raise here. Stretch your lats. Stretch your legs and then we are going to walk it back up, okay? Same thing, other side. Really reach here with that leg, take it nice and wide. Open up your hips, open up your chest. Take both hands to one side if you want. Get your forearms down. Pop it back up on those hands and really do a nice stretch here. And lower it and walk back up. Okay, loop out those shoulders. We're going to walk down into the downward facing dog here. Push into those heels. You can bicycle out the feet a bit. 
if that's good for you. Hold here, feel and relax, right here along the side body. Now we're going to heel toe, heel toe in. Round the shoulders, reach for the toes. Clasp the hands behind. Pull up and over. You can always bend the knees here if you need to. Take the arms back down. Nice bend in the knee, reach for the toes again, flat back. Straighten them if you can, and slowly roll back up. Good those shoulders. Take your right arm across to the left. Pull with that left arm. Look over your right shoulder. And take it around. All right, take it across. Look over your left shoulder. Try to relax your neck here. And tricep stretch. I must have slept funny because I've been having <clears throat> weird muscular neck pain all weekend. Hard to even turn to the side. You ever had that happen? All right. Release. Now, we're going to go to your wall. We're going to place your palm with your fingers pointed the direction of your backside when you're staying this way, so behind you. And then you're going to pivot out away from that hand to get a nice chest stretch here. You also may feel that in your biceps, depending on the placement of your hand. Awesome. All right, we're going to try the other side now. So palms are facing your posterior, and you're going to pivot your leg and your chest out and away from that arm that's on the wall. Clear as mud? <laughs> All right. All right, shake them out a little bit. Now, we're gonna work on our neck a little bit. We're gonna make a few circles. Make five each side. Other way, reversing directions. Breathe deep here. One more. All right, now we're going to take our right hand, place it on the left side of our head, and gently guide. Don't pull the neck toward your shoulder. Don't bring the shoulder up toward your neck. Bring the neck toward your shoulder. Massage here a little bit. Awesome. Back to neutral. I want you to bring your chin to chest. Take it up. Now, other side. So, our left hand goes to the right side of our head. Ear to the shoulder, not the other way around. Just guide here. chin to chest and back up, 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 two more, and last one. Awesome. Hope your neck's feeling good. Hope your whole body is feeling good. You crushed this workout. You are amazing. And I'll see you back at the camp. All right, jackhammers. Great job doing this workout with me. I don't know about you guys, but I had a blast doing this workout. I think it was just what I needed today. It's kind of out of my normal routine, um, but it was just really fun, really refreshing to do all these animal themed 
exercises and fun hit moves. So I hope you guys had a ball too. Now what I need you to do is drink a lot of water today. Oh, I cannot emphasize that enough to help you just have the most energy you can possibly have, to help you metabolize your food properly, and to help your amazing muscles repair and grow. So you get your water in, you'll be glad you did. Also, 30 to 90 minutes after this workout, I need you to get a healthy post-workout meal in your body. Email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com if you need help with putting that together, or if you need some more tailored nutritional counseling, personal training, um, or a nutrition and exercise plan. So we are here to help you. Check us out. See if maybe we can help you crush your goals this year. So other than that, like this video if you liked it. Um, tell your friends about us. We're thinking about putting together two new programs um, for purchase. So one of them would be a Velvet Hammer Beginners program for people who just have not done anything in a long time um, or who have never exercised before. So this is going to be a very basic program on weightlifting and cardiovascular exercises just to help somebody who's a beginner hit the crown running. So what I need you guys to do, if you're interested in that or you think you would have a family member who's interested in that, just comment down below so we can get an idea if this is something that our community could benefit from. Um, the other program we're thinking about uh, recording that I've already written is a pretty heavy duty upper body strength program. It is called Velvet Hammer Pipes. So if you want to purchase this program, you are going to be someone who's intermediate to advanced when it comes to weightlifting because it is quite the killer format. I've done a lot of the workouts already. So um, it's basically what I do. <laughs> when I'm not filming for you. So if you want some velvet hammer pipes, let us know if you'd be interested in that program. We just want to get an idea of what is helpful to you all. So other than that, thank you for supporting us here on Patreon. If you know somebody else who would benefit from our workouts, please tell them to check out our channel, subscribe to our channel uh, for more brutal workouts and tips for healthy living. If you haven't yet, we also have our glue program out there. It is fantastic will help you uh, carve the most lean, strong, and functional glutes you could ever dream of having. And um, it is just there waiting for you to sign up. So email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com to sign up for that. So whether you felt like a party animal throughout this whole animal-themed cardio and strength workout, or whether you felt like an animal who had been squished on the side of the road, it is your health today and every day. So you better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome week, guys, an awesome day, and be kind to someone who's difficult. I always have to say that because it always needs to be done. See you soon.